In fact, when the breath flows into the shushumna or the central channel in the higher yoga practice, your breath is a mantra. You have a mantric breath. You are breathing in and out the divine sound, not just simply the air from the uh, external world, and that it's also the flow of the shakti through the central channel that is also the inner awakening. So the mantra has so much to offer, and the other beauty of the mantra is it's something simple that anybody can begin to work with and begin to do. If I tell you to meditate and silence your mind, you can't do it. If you, even if you just tell people meditate, first of all, meditation today can mean anything to anybody, uh, and then they try to do something based upon what their expectation of meditation is. But with the mantra, we can make the mind into a vehicle for meditation, and we can give people a tool of, to begin with, to approach uh, meditation. And this also means that whatever you are learning is kind of a mantra. You know, there, there are so many principles of yoga that you learn, whether the eight limbs of yoga, whether the 25 tattvas, the cosmological principles, the deities. Each deity is a mantra. Ganesha is a mantra. Ganesha is unfolding a whole range of meanings, powers, qualities, energies that one can experience through the name. Bhakti Yoga is one of the most uh, important aspects of our Shakti Sadhana. It guides us through the heart, which is very essential for honoring the divinity. And Bhakti Yoga allows us to tap that higher, that deeper source of the divine. So it helps us in that relationship with the divine. And Bhakti Yoga is not only about the outer rituals, the outer aspect of Shakti Sadhana, but it guides us to draw in that Shakti, that grace within ourselves. So when we are in sync with the grace in the cosmic universe, that is when our sadhana begins to unfold at a much deeper level. So the simplest way of invoking the divine is through Bhakti Yoga. And yet Bhakti Yoga must be understood with a sense of deep awareness, with a sense of Shraddha or devotion. There must be a clarity and an intelligence that is applied to Bhakti Yoga. 